Tommy, obviously it's a massive weekend for the club. How are you feeling ahead of it? Same as everybody else, massive anticipation. We're looking forward to the occasion. Um, but ultimately, it's a day of work for us, and um, we, we love it. We, you know, we, we we're in the game to, to have these occasions. And I think on the back of the, the good festive period that we've had, I think everybody's in really good physical and mental state to, to get at it. Yeah, let's start talking about that festive period. Obviously, we've come coming into it in the best possible fashion with a win over Woking. That's done wonders, hasn't it, for the confidence of the fans, the confidence of the players, and the mood around the place. Yeah, I mean, I think I always say this. You know, when there's the festive period, most clubs have local derby games, and I think if any team takes the four or six points out of it, it's the bragging rights is the biggest part of it for the, for the fans. Ultimately, for us as managers, it's another three points on the board and we, we move on and forget about them for another year. So that's how I that's how I always worked and that's what I continue to do. But you're right, you know, um, whilst I, I've seen a quote, we hadn't won a league game since November, but we'd only had one, you know, and that was in Chesterfield. So from that point of view, I wasn't too, I wasn't too worried about that. We've done okay and we're... I don't think we've had a, a massive lull at any stage yet. What we've had is whenever we've had a disappointment, we've bounced back. And, you know, I think, we're in, like I said, we're in a good place physically and mentally. Uh, and there's a lot of the lads who our fans haven't seen for, for quite some time now available to us again. So, yeah, we're, we're, we're very healthy and we're looking forward to it. You say that there, obviously, as you said, it was just one league game. But with a, with a couple of games without a win, technically speaking, for the season we've had, that was a bit of a blip. But mm. we've now obviously come to the other side of that. Is that testament to the group? Is that testament to everyone how well the start of the season has been? Yeah. yeah, the players deserve massive credit for that. I mean, the staff around me and, and I encourage, you know, you've got to, you've got to move on from the disappointment quicker than you have sometimes than you have from the victories because if you low, you know you keep patting yourself on the back because you're doing you're doing well you'll you very soon get kicked up the backside so yeah like the good thing about having a, a season like we're having is the next game always seems to come around very very quickly i think in the fa cup it's slightly different it's almost probably three or four weeks since we played the replay at stockport so we know it's been on a horizon it would be very easy for anybody or everybody to be looking at and thinking about that game with without you know the games in between, but because it's the the local games that we've had, um, I think the the interest has been peaked and the attendances here have been on the up and up since I've got here. Um, and the fact we're taking what we're taking over the over the West Brom is is another you know testament to the way that people are backing us. It's four thousand seven hundred, I think, is the is what we're saying at the moment. Mm. And on the last count, we did so. That's going to be incredible, isn't it? A whole end there at West Brom, filled with shots fans. They're going to have a brilliant weekend. Some of them, some of them travelling up on the day, of course. So we just want to give them something to cheer, don't we? Do you think we can? Yeah, I'm always positive. You know, I, I believe in the way we play. I believe in the group. But what I've got to be mindful of, and we've got to, you know, temper our enthusiasm to win the game with not getting walloped. Because at the end of the day, there is a, a huge gulf between the two football teams and football clubs, um, and everybody knows that. But the FA Cup is this perennial habit of throwing out results as we already know ourselves we've been part of two this season um, and on the reverse side of that Aldershot have been on the wrong end of them in you know previous seasons so look both, both teams will want to progress no doubt um, they'll probably have a better idea what my team is than what I have of theirs but we'll go there as well prepared as we can be we've had them watched as much as we can in terms of the same way we do on a, on a weekly basis with our league opposition so we know where they're very very strong which is everywhere, um, and we know where we, we may be able to get a little bit of joy. So, you know, as long as we, as long as I feel once we come off the pitch that every one of the lads on, on the pitch is given their all, which I know they will, um, I'll be as proud coming back as I am going up the road because I'm really proud about taking this club to, to West Brom. It's, a, it's, a, it's a, almost a redemption day, I think, for, for our football club. And so there's been a lot of low, low stuff recently and a lot of really low stuff a little bit further away. So, some some supporters that keep telling me they've, they've been through some really dark times at all shop but i think the last five or six months have been really really positive and they are a massive part of that uh, and i want to want to give them something back we'll be without one or two members of the squad this weekend won't we but Look, we've said it a lot of times this season. The depth in this squad is, is really good. We've got again recently we've spoken about this too. We've got people coming back from injuries, so that's a very good opportunity for some of our players to really just say, "Look, here I am." Yeah, I mean, in the case of Josh Stokes, one man's disappointment will be another man's fortune. So somebody will get an opportunity because you know he's been a special player for us this season, um, and 
it's a travesty, travesty in my eyes that that lad doesn't get the opportunity to to show what he can do on that stage. Um, but it's happened, you know. It, the decision was made for whatever it was, for whatever reason. Anybody who's seen the footage will understand how frustrated I am at it, and I'm sure how Josh is. But he's been, for a lad of 18, 19 year old, sorry, it comes from a professional this week. I offered him to go home for a few days, put his head away, you know, do whatever he wanted to do, go and see his mum and dad. But he didn't, he came in and trained, um, which is, you know, testament to him as a person. Obviously with, with Hadji it's slightly different. I'm delighted for Hadji to have got the recognition because he's playing for our football club as far as I'm concerned, he's our player. I know he's registered to Portsmouth, but he's he's with us for the for the season and um Whilst he's gone away with Tanzania, we all wish him all, all the very best when the games. It would be different if he was only going there to make numbers up, but I think he'll go there and play. Which, like I said, for him to be playing his trade with us is a feather in our cap and also a feather in his. So, good luck to Hadji. We speak about the opportunities. Obviously, Ollie Scott was out injured and then he came back in to, to full fitness, got his minutes against Stockport and came up with a goal. So, speaking about those opportunities, there have already been them and, it, and someone else can make a name for themselves this weekend, can't they? Yeah, without a doubt. I think, you know, it, as we speak, the, the team is floating around in my head. I think I know <laughs> we're, roughly where we are, but there are there are a couple of guys who I'm definitely considering. And there may be a quirky one thrown in there. I like to do that now and again. But I think, like you just mentioned, Ollie is a great example there. He should exactly the mentality that's required patience and then when you get the opportunity you've got to put your arm in the door keep it open get your foot in the door and don't let me let me close it on you not everybody will do that but he's been a great example to anybody else who's waiting for an opportunity that if they get one then that's how you react to it so um, yeah like, like I said putting it all in a nutshell I think it's just it's one of them things that we've, we've all had it on the horizon like I say but for it to be just two days away is really really exciting now and of course, having people like Stuart O'Keefe and Keen Harries that have played up at that level in, in the squad, it's, it must be brilliant to have for the younger lads around to, to kind of give them a helping hand and, and just get them through the occasion. Yeah, I think Stuart's common influence and, and, and Keen, who's been a, a, a sort of ever present really in the side, I think that people like that can be lent on if, if that's required by youngsters. But I think we're a young group, you know, we haven't got that many, uh, there's only Stuart over 30, I think. So we're a fairly young group, I think, with youth comes enthusiasm, but it also comes, you know, the the lack of fear sometimes, and that's not a bad thing. You know, they, they, they don't realise they're going into that lion's den sometimes, and when they do, I think they've reacted ever so well to whatever whatever animals come towards them. So like I said, when Sunday comes, as long as we give a really good version of ourselves as, a, as individuals, and then obviously therefore as a group, like I said, I'll be as proud coming back down the M40 as I am going up it. Well, we've seen obviously Stockport already, we've seen Swindon already, and, and I guess Chesterfield as well. The, the bigger teams we've played this season, we have given it a go. West Brom are obviously a much bigger side than those three, but are we still going to give it a go? Yeah, well, I'm not one for parking the bus, as people know. Um, I think we've got to be very, very respectful, though. And, you know, if we just went gung-ho willy-nilly, then we'd, there'd be all sorts of chaos going on at the wrong end of the pitch. So, like I said, we, 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 we have and we will always give a team like West Brom or Stockport or Swindon or anybody else who we play this season the utmost respect. We've also got to give ourselves a chance. And that means playing to the best of our ability the best way we can. And that's what we try and do every game. And I know we don't win every game, but we try. We start off every game trying to win. If we can't win it, we try not to lose it. Um, that's all well, all well and good saying them things. But like you said, the opposition goal this time is you know, gargantuan, and, and, and this is a free hit for us. But like I said, I'm looking forward to it as much as the lads. The only thing I wish I was, I was on the pitch.